Hey everybody, welcome back to another Circuit Basics tutorial. My name is Scott, and today I'm going to show you how to turn your Arduino into a ohmmeter. This is a really cool project, and it helped me out a lot. Um, I used to struggle trying to figure out the resistance values of my resistors by um, looking at the little color bands on them, but now I've just uh, gone through all my resistors and figured out the resistance and just written the values on the little strip of paper and now I can just look at the paper and I know my resistance values so let's get started um, you want to follow the link in the description to my blog post for this tutorial at circuitbasics.com I've got the code right there so just go ahead and copy that open up the Arduino IDE and paste it in and there's one value you want to pay attention to on line 5 you have float R2 equals 1000 this is the value of your known resistor so just keep that in mind for now and upload that to the board open up your serial monitor this is where you'll see the resistance values R2 is the value of your resistor in ohms and V out is the voltage drop across the resistor so to connect this circuit you want to connect a lead from 5 volts to one side of your breadboard and another lead from ground to the other side of your breadboard and then pin A0, analog pin 0 to the middle of your board and then we'll take our known resistor with a value of 1000 ohms and put that between the negative and A0 leads now we'll take an unknown resistor this one is 2.7 kilo ohms and insert that between the positive and analog 0 lead and if you take a look at the serial monitor you'll see that we're getting values pretty close to 2.7 kilo ohms it's fairly accurate now let's try to change our known resistor now let's try to change the value of our known resistor to 1 mega ohm to do that we're going to need to change a little bit of code go back to the Arduino text editor and find the value for float R1 equals 1000 and change that to 1 million and then upload that to the board open the serial monitor and insert a 1 mega ohm resistor for the known resistor in between the negative lead and the A0 lead. Now remember we still have the 2.7 kilo ohm resistor in here and we're getting all kinds of crazy values anywhere from 977 up to 29,000. That's one of the issues with this circuit. Um, if the value of the known resistor is magnitudes away from the value of the unknown resistor uh, you're gonna have a lot more error so we need to keep the values of our known resistor pretty similar to the values of our unknown resistor for it to be accurate so now let's try a 2.7 mega ohm resistor for our unknown resistor keeping the code the same and the known resistor value at 1 mega ohm 
Now if we check out the serial monitor, we can see that the values are around 2.7 mega ohms, much more accurate. There we go. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed watching this. And as always, let me know if you have any questions or comments. And I'll talk to you later. All right, bye-bye.